So actually, uh, I have a task to uh, present on enabling HR technology. Uh, but the good thing is, uh, we have had previous speakers who have actually done a very tremendous job, and they have actually touched even on technology. So congratulations to all the previous speakers who have done a very good job and actually simplified my job significantly. <laughs> so, um, so basically I want to talk on how um, technology has an impact on the HLA function but also just touch on the future of HR and urban technology. Uh, what are the key elements in terms of embracing um, the disruptive technology specifically in HR function? And then, um, because we have key stakeholders in here who can actually convey the message in our respective organizations, specifically to push uh, the digital transformation agenda um, in our uh, specific organizations. So, um, what is the attention? Uh, for competitive advantage as far as the HR function is concerned. So uh, basically, we needed to look on the purpose and culture because actually HR function is the one which drives the culture of, the, of an organization. But also, it provides uh, the workforce insights and analytics using different information and actually data from uh, various tools which are actually uh, employed by various organizations. And then uh, we needed to drive the uh, employee experience to ensure that uh, the employee, our employees are actually embracing whatever technology we have in our organizations, but actually they give a good, a good feedback and be a good ambassador when uh, they exit our specific organizations. The role of enabling technology uh, to push uh, the HR function in our respective organizations. We do understand now we have these um, chatbots, uh, which actually, actually have been embedded in quite a number of um, applications and systems. Uh, I can just give an example. We have one, I just use KPMG as an example. So we have one of our audit tool software, uh, which is called IDEA, and actually we have quite a number of chatbots, which basically give us a lot of, uh, which simplify our way in terms of doing the sampling, uh, providing insights in terms of how to document the work. So this is just the work of digital labor and machine learning. And actually, these chatbots have been embedded in quite a number of systems uh, which we are using in our respective organizations. Uh, the use of cognitive analytics and cognitive learning, we do appreciate um, the use of uh, data analytics in our respective organizations. And basically, I've seen quite a number of organizations are actually embracing technology. So this digital transformation journey has already been embraced by quite a number of organizations in Tanzania. But we are still pushing for more organizations to be digital transformed and actually, uh, if not all, but quite a number of organizations in Tanzania are actually uh, embracing this digital transformation. Uh, these are the key considerations in terms of preparing the future of enabling HR technology. Some of them have already been discussed by the previous speakers, so I won't be touching on them. However, I just give uh, some highlights on some few of them. Uh, number one is employee experience. How are we using technology to reduce um, quite a number of these repetitive tasks in, uh, to our employees? For example, I can give, um, I can use uh, the finance department. Most of our staff are doing a lot of jobs which are manual, they're using Excel, but those jobs can be easily and quickly done by um, most of the uh, digital tools. We have data analytics tools, maybe IDEA and Atrix, which can actually simplify the, um, the job of our people from finance department. So we needed to ensure that the employee uh, experience is good. Uh, by embracing our technology in our specific, specific department. Um, creating a consumer experience for employees, the way we want to save our customers, that should be the same culture and the drive to ensure that our employees are actually also embracing the same. Um, I can just, uh, this is just one of the survey which was done by KPMG way back in 2018, uh, whereby the HR exec, uh, executive uh, gave their comment and uh, contributions on how technology can actually be embedded in HR function. You can see um, we have 39% whereby most of the um, feedback was uh, this embracing technology in HR function will actually um, uh, improve the employee experience, but then uh, in the ends uh, the process effectiveness. 35% actually responded that it just gave a great insight and decision support by using uh, different information and data uh, which can be collected from various uh, departments. 26% just actually focused on cost reduction, this being one of the KPI in most of the organizations, 
by embracing technology in HR function and other departments as well can actually uh, lead to uh, cost reduction. I can just give an example um, for a banking sector because I've been serving most of the banks as my clients. There is a very key um, KPI, and uh, that is cost to income ratio, and this has been uh, actually a key drive from the Central Bank of Tanzania to maintain a cost to income ratio which should not uh, at least be 55%, which at most be 55%. So a cost to income ratio is a very key um, point to note, and this can be actually uh, achieved by embracing technology in a respective department. Not only HL, but even some other departments, through embracing technology, we can achieve this uh, target. Another area is on enterprise architecture, beyond the software as a service, SAS refers to software as a service. How are we simplifying and actually provide um, the business uh, in terms of uh, actually uh, adapting to different innovation uh, which are actually appearing in day-to-day? Uh, -day. Actually, technology has been evolving. Yes, we are embracing our digital transformation today, but we have seen a significant, uh, a significant changes in technology. Uh, last year, we did not have chat GPT. It was just in um, late um, uh, development and actually to be deployed. But you can see now we have chat GPT. Google has just released another uh, artificial intelligence tool. And some other companies are still struggling to release their own artificial intelligence. So the significant and the quick changes in terms of technology is very critical in our specific organizations. And we, as a key stakeholders coming from uh, ICT as well as HR, we have a purpose to ensure that all these are actually embraced in our specific organizations. Uh, this is just a summary uh, the 21st Enterprise Architecture and the Strategy. I just touch on the key ones, because most of them have already been highlighted by the previous speakers. Experience, this is just refers to employee experience. The automation of different processes to ensure that uh, we, are using, um, more, uh, we are using the more advanced uh, tools on automating our processes. The smart engineers, the likes of, uh, as highlighted by previous speaker. Uh, the integration of different processes. How are we integrating the processes from different departments? Are uh, the finance guys, um, the systems which we have for finance, are they speaking to HR department? Are they speaking to uh, uh, inventory guys? All these, they should be, all these systems should be speaking to each other. But also in terms of infrastructure, the use of different tools for clouds, we do understand the use of um, Amazon Web Services in terms of hosting different uh, services, the use of Google Drive, OneDrive, all these, they just uh, uh, they just uh, improve and enhance our uh, effectiveness and efficiencies. But also applications. There are quite a number of applications which are used to support HR functions. Um, I can just mention uh, some of the applications which are commonly used by the organizations, specifically in Tanzania market. We have Waruti, uh, we have MyCHR Space, OpenPD. All these applications, they are actually simplifying and they're giving more efficiency to the HR department. But also, um, the impact of technology in HR, it leads to the creation of new laws. Nowadays, we can see that uh, through the use of um, automating different processes and using that analytics, employees can actually look for different laws. Um, I can just refer to one of the examples which was given by Mr. Uh, Emmanuel uh, earlier in the morning, that now there are some laws which are not present four years back, but they are now looking to recruit people specifically on data, and this is basically uh, being pushed by the advancement in technology. If you are now developing your own software, then you need the people to look over data. You need the people from cybersecurity to ensure that you are secured and that there is no any attack from ransom uh, point of view. Um, this is just a transition uh, from HLA function. Previously, HLA used to deal with administrative laws, but nowadays we can see HLA is being part of the company strategist. They are now pushing the strategy of the company. They are now looking forward on how to support the business vision and mission. But also all this has been actually achieved by ensuring that technology is part of HR function. Moving from the administrative roles, leave application, seek onboarding new staff, up to strategist uh, law. Now you can see that the HR department has actually advanced and you can see, and I'm just going to that question that will AI actually depress the HR a personnel. This is something which is not possible because with advancement in AI, but also we cannot rely fully on AI. We need the people to actually, uh, uh, we need the people to actually um, read these uh, AI and other automated tools. 
Uh, this is just a summary. Uh, before, we had administrative role uh, as a significant part of the HLA, um, HLA functions, a bit of consultative and strategic, but now with embracing technology, you can see uh, a significant portion of the HLA role has been on self-service, consultative and strategic, and a bit of administration laws because we cannot completely integrate those laws. Those are the functions, those are the key functions which needs to be serviced by the HLA personnel. Uh, in terms of the evolution of HR laws uh, by emerging technologies, uh, emerging technologies has been significant. Five minutes. No worries. Uh, in terms of emerging technologies, uh, the impact of uh, machine learning, uh, data management, cloud services, all these, they, they have a direct and significant impact to uh, HR uh, functional functionalities. Uh, the last one, which is value delivery, this has been significantly contributed and actually commented by the previous speakers through um, the advancement in HR, through the advancement in technology and being embraced by the HR function, we have seen um, the deployment approach can be accelerated and actually the value can be created through the employment value proportion, proposition. Key elements to embracing uh, disruptive technologies uh, cannot stress enough on this. This has been commented uh, by quite a number of speakers. The organization the governance, people being a key area, the processes, change management, as well as program management. But then, what do we believe the future of HR will look like? This can be categorized by changes in the operating model, uh, but also ensuring that uh, uh, we do a proper skilling of our people, be more evidence-based using the data which is available, but also um, to need to have a different um, skills such as the behavior insight, and this can be uh, actually collected from uh, different activities which are done by our employees. So what now? Where are we uh, in terms of embracing technology uh, in our HR function? So you can say uh, we are not uh, coming from zero. We are, we are already uh, at a certain point in terms of embracing technology and HR function, but we need to do more. And how are we doing that? First of all, is to build a case for change. Uh, for those who are not yet there, you need to convey the message to our respective organization. Ensure that, um, actually convey the message and deliver um, the key points which have been related from this forum, but also design the future state. How do you want it to look like? Envision the art of possibilities in case there are, in case there are rejection from management uh, on how to embrace technology and respective functionalities, but then to prioritize this uh, key concept. So uh, I can say uh, quite a number of concepts have already been highlighted and coming from technology point of view, and they actually had a lot of experts from HR department, so they tried their level best to ensure that they are not leaving anything, they are not neglecting anything, and they talked uh, much more. Uh, that was my time, thank you. Thank you so much.